Let's now take up algebraic identity. Okay, now I take x minus y into x minus y. Again, this can also be written as x minus y whole square. Now, if again I were to solve this, what will I get? I will get x into x minus y. First term multiplied by the second polynomial minus y into x minus y or now I start multiplying x into x gives me x square minus x into y x y minus minus y into x minus x y and minus y into minus y will give me plus y square please note minus into minus is plus if I were to regroup this only these are the two where we have a common variable x y so therefore this can be written as x square plus y square minus 2xy. So we can write that x minus y whole square is equal to x square plus y square minus 2xy. Let's take a problem on this. Let's say I have 3y minus 4x whole square. So if I apply this formula or this identity then x minus y. So x is equal to 3y and y is equal to minus 4x or rather y is equal to 4x because this minus is something which is to be ignored. Right? So applying the identity, we get x square plus y square minus 2xy. My x is equal to 3y square plus y is equal to 4x square minus 2 into 3y into 4 Let's simplify each one of them. 3y into 3y. 3 into 3 gives me 9. y into y will give me y square. Plus 4x into 4x. Plus 4 into 4 16. x into x gives me x square. Minus 2 into 3 is 6. 6 into 4 is 24. And x into y is xy minus 24xy. So by applying this identity, I was able to solve this problem very easily instead of getting into a detailed multiplication. 